virgin in the last segment. But I guess, Angel uh, Angela, you would like to find a virgin, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, all right, well, we have one under the sheets here. Uh, if you pick the right person, you may get matched up with a virgin. Bachelor number one, please say hi to her. Hi there. Bachelor number two, please say hello. Hi, how you doing? Bachelor number three. Right. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. All right. You can ask your questions now. Bachelor number one, I like my men pure like ivory snow, but I still like excitement. What is your idea of a sexless, tintillating evening? Well, my name is Baird Jones, B-A-J-D-M-S-W-M-A-M-A. -M -A -M -A. I have more academic degrees than anyone else in the United States. So I'd like you to come hear me lecture at Columbia University where I lecture in graduate school. <laughs> Next question. Bachelor number two, being the virgin that I am, I need a man who has a lot of patience. What would you do to soothe my virginal anxiety? Well, I'd take you out on a nice romantic evening, you do some dinner and dancing, and when we get back to my place, I'll pour you a nice glass of wine, and then start caressing you up and down your body, and then we'll do it nice and, and slowly and gently afterwards. Bachelor number three, I like Madonna's song, Like a Virgin. Let me hear a sexy and seductive song that would guarantee my surrender to you. His hobby was taxidermy. Wormy, squirmy, axidermy. Psycho! Psycho! He never rented into matrimony. He killed everybody. I have to warn you, some ceremony. of our guests are only out on day Psycho! passes and must be returned to the institution by the end of the broadcast. Shut your trap! <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number one, though I can't have you physically, if I saw you across a crowded room, what part of you would fill me with lust? Well, I'm short, fat, and bald, the big three, but uh, I'm a nightclub party giver. I've made a few million dollars, so even though I'm only 5'6", when I stand on my wallet, I'm six foot two. So you could use me for my money. <laughs> use me for my money. All right, time for one more question. Go ahead. I don't want a man who will put the moves on... That's, this is for Bachelor number two. I don't want a man who will put the moves on me. Stand up and show the audience some of your hottest dance moves. All right, thank you. I must say that was so suggestive that I saw... Several of our female audience members squirming in their seats. Uh, it's time, it's time to pick the bachelor that will accompany you on the date. Wh wh who do you think it should be? Um. What do you say? Which one? I'll go with two. Two? All right, our dancer. You did not pick, though, bachelor number one, who is a virgin. Say hello to 39-year-old virgin Bear Jones. The man with more degrees than anyone else in the country. There you, go. <laughs> you did not pick bachelor number three who forgot to take his medication before the show. <laughs> he claims to be a songwriter and he's a man who's somewhere between the age of Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra. Bingo Gazingo. <laughs> Number two, a self-proclaimed stud muffin. Play, say hello to Enzo. Your date. <laughs> All right, you didn't pick the virgin. We're gonna take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. respective dates will be going off on a date on us to the one and only Serendipity 3 restaurant. You'll enjoy everything from burgers to sundaes and man, those are the greatest sundaes at Serendipity. Serendipity 3, you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you had a wonderful time for joining us here today. And as always, from all of us here to all of you out there, all of our best.
take that.